Good afternoon. How is everybody today? I certainly hope you are having a great day. Today I'm going to do a video on contouring. A couple of my friends have asked me if I could do it again, so I shall do that. So today I am using a new product that I got at Dollar General. It is their Believe makeup line. It's a brand new line for Dollar General and I got their contour stick. There's a light color on one side and a dark color on another. I got the one for light to medium skin. So what I'm going to do is, with the light end of this, I am going to use it to minimize any of the lines or wrinkles that I have on my face, okay? Now when I smile, you can see these lines that come down on this side, and this right here, and I am going to attempt to use this to try and minimize these lines, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down along these lines and next to my nose as well. I've got a few new wrinkles on my chin area and this yucky cliff right here okay and then I also want to kind of minimize these dark circles okay so I'm going to go actually under the dark circles and start over here by the nose to try and lighten that up a bit And just any areas that you really want to minimize, okay? So that's basically what I do with my contouring, okay? Because these are the areas I want to minimize, okay? It really, really helps with the under eye circles there before I put the concealer on, okay? So then I just take a brush and I... Pat it on. Just so it's not so obvious. Just kind of, you know, blending it in. And it definitely minimizes those lines. It's very, um, very, very helpful for that. And this is basically what contouring does. That's with the light side. You know, you will get contouring palettes, okay? Like my NYX palette that I had, I'm totally out of that lightest color because that's the color I was always using to... Um, you know, minimize those lines. Uh, there are other colors in here that I haven't really tried yet, which I suppose I could do in another video just to see how that works. But I've always been using the lightest color and I've noticed that that is the best thing for me. All right. Now, with the dark contouring colors, okay, like this has a light and a dark side. With this dark side, you can contour your cheeks, okay? For us ladies that have, um, you know, a little bit of chubby faces and you can't really tell where the cheek line is, you can actually use this to carve out that cheekbone. Okay. And then when you do that and blend it in, it actually gives you a nice carved cheekbone. And you just have to blend it in really well so that it doesn't look so obvious. I'm sure you get the idea. And then you have a nice cheekbone, okay? This is 
how you contour. And also with the dark color, you can use it to try and maximize your jawline, especially if you have a lot of fat under here, which isn't very bad today. But there are days I will wake up and my I will have so much fat underneath, I don't know why. But this is the trick to help with that, okay? So right where the fat starts, like right here it is for me, okay? You would put this dark color here, okay? And very lightly along your jawline, okay? This will give the illusion of a very chiseled jawline. And it'll create a shadow so that the fat underneath your chin or jowls, whatever you want to call it, aren't quite as prominent. And of course you would blend it in well. Okay. So that's contouring, okay? And then once you contour, you would put on your base and proceed with your makeup, okay? And I actually do like this. I think this is very good. This is the Believe contouring stick for light to medium skin. So I really do like that. Now, I have another product that I want to show you that I just purchased. Um, I got the Maybelline BB Cream in Buff Beige. I don't know if you remember, but I had done a video with the Believe BB Cream. And it was porcelain ivory, and I thought it was a little bit too thin, for too light for my skin. So today I'm actually going to try this BB Cream, okay? And see if that is going to be a better color for me which I'm assuming it probably will be, okay? So I've put it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna put my beauty blender sponge in here and I'm just gonna pat that on. Now I have used this and I do like it. I think it is a better color for me. Now the only thing with BB creams is they don't really cover up everything. They're not as full coverage as a foundation would be. But if you're just going out, you know, to the store. And I'm actually using it as a, uh, a base for my eyeshadow when I go to work. Okay. And I find that it works really well. And it's easier to take the eyeshadow off as well. I mean, eyeshadow primers are great for people who want to wear their eyeshadows all day long. But for me, I'm at work for four hours, and I don't really have to put on makeup, but I like to be presentable when I go to work. So, I just use this BB Cream Cream, and it feels very good on your skin. Uh, it doesn't even feel like I have anything on. And I really, really like it. Um, highly recommend it. I think it's really good. Now, um, if you want to um, cover up some of your areas, like I might want to do right now, I could go ahead and use my um, concealers that I have, you know, just to cover up a little bit. And I just use my... Um, I don't have glasses on. <laughs> this is my uh, Maybelline. Don't get old ladies and get cataracts like me. This is the Instant Age Rewind that I got in the white color, okay? So <laughs> I just put this over my eyes. I mean, you could get a little more fancy if you want with the color correctors and all that. But for work, I just, you know, I just put this on. And I find it does a fairly decent job on my eyes, okay? 
and then any of my imperfections, like I've got a, um, where's my scar? I have a scar over here and some hyperpigmentation over here. And I'll just, you know, put that over it just to minimize the problems. Okay. And I think it looks pretty good. Actually, I think it looks better on my skin than that porcelain did. Um, I've always used Buff Beige in my CoverGirl Olay foundation. So I find it is a good color for me. So there you go. Now, also, I um, recently got this e.l.f. blush palette. And it's got really pretty colors in it, guys. Very pretty pinks. Uh, we've got a very bright pink right here. And a much brighter pink here. Very, very bright pink. <laughs> And it's highly pigmented. So, you know, e.l.f. is very inexpensive. I mean, this was $6 at the grocery store. So um, I was really, really, really impressed with it. So basically, I'm going to do a little bit of this lighter. Even though it's lighter, it's very pigmented. So I'm going to put this right here a little bit further up than my contouring okay like right above it right there okay that's my see it's very highly pigmented i really like it very very nice it's so nice to get inexpensive makeup you know you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on it if you want to when you've got the money Yay, good for you. But a lot of us can't, right? So this is um, a highlighter I got from NYX, Born to Glow. And unfortunately, my cataracts have gotten bad, so I can't really tell you the... Um, I can try and look at it. Let's see. The doctor said the cataracts aren't bad enough yet for surgery, but it's very hard for me to see. It's called Break the Rhythm. <laughs> That's the name of this highlighter. So, a little bit about me, too. Well, I'm doing my makeup. So, we're just going to put a highlighter right above the, the powder um, color. Just kind of highlight that area. And anywhere else you want to do any highlights, like maybe over your brows. And there you go. There's a nice little highlighter. So we've got our blush, our BB cream, our highlighter, and then basically I'll just do my eyes. Now, my, eyelid, my eyebrows are starting to grow out, so I actually have not been doing my eyebrows. Um... I don't like eyebrows that are made up too much. That's just my preference, you know. So I just don't do it, okay? So now, if I'm going to work, I will probably pick something very neutral, okay? So I had gotten these colors from Amazon called Streamer Light Ripe Girl Petite Fire. It's kind of a autumn mix of colors. We've got some, an orange here. We've got some deep copper in here. We've got a dark brown and some lighter colors here on the end. Okay. So basically I'm just going to get a brush and I'm going to take, let's see, there's like a tan color right here that I'm going to put on my eyes, okay? Just going to put that on my lash. Okay, very, very neutral. Then I'm going to take um, a darker color of uh, this dark brown right here, and I'm going to put it in my, on the end of my lid right here, okay?
And this will open up my eyes a little bit more because I do have, you know, close set eyes. And I got a little bit under here, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt to get a little color under there. Um, okay. And then I am going to, let me get my, one thing I learned when I first got one of those palettes was I ruined the colors because I didn't clean off my brush. So I got this um, from Cloth Beauty. And what it is, is just a sponge that you um, put your brush in here and it'll take off the color for you, which is amazing. So that's something I learned, a very expensive lesson. All right, so I've got this darker color here. And then I'm going to take an even darker color and put it in my crease. Now, this is the first time I've tried this palette, so I don't know how it's going to work, but we will see, okay? Okay, so I've got all my colors on. Now I need to blend them in. Okay. That's always a chore, but you've got to do it. Otherwise, your eyes look weird. So, I am not a professional. I am just showing you techniques that I've learned. So, I keep it real, guys. See, and now it's all blended in. And it's a nice autumn look, you know. I guess it blends pretty well. Yeah, so I would recommend this. I think it wasn't very expensive. I believe it was $8.99 on Amazon. When I got it a couple months ago, I just haven't used it yet. So it blends very nicely. So I like it. And it blends very nicely over the BB cream. BB cream. So highly recommend that. I am a working girl. I can't afford $25 makeup palettes. All right. So there's that. And then I use my favorite. Lash Sensational from Maybelline Mascara, which I absolutely love. And I don't use an eyelash curler because I'm a big baby, <laughs> to, be tr to be honest. I just, I'm very sensitive about my eyes. I can't stand having drops put in them at the dye doctor office, so I am not an eyelash curler person. It does help your eyelashes look longer and curlier, but that's okay. To me, it's all right. So I'll let that dry and I'll probably put another um, coat on. Okay. So there is my work look. Very nice and fresh. And then, of course, I do have to put a little bit of lipstick on. So with this color, I would probably put on my... Um, Famous Coral that I use a lot. And I would just put on um, a little bit of a lip liner first.
and I try to accentuate it a little bit on the top and bottom because I have rather thin lips. So then I put this on. And this is my favorite color because it pretty much goes with everything. This is the um, Superstay 24 color lip from, I believe it's from Maybelline, in coral. Very, very pretty. So I like that color. It goes kind of goes with everything. Got powder on me. <laughs> All right, and then it actually comes, the other end opens up, and it has a sealer that you put over your lips. And the reason why it says 24 hour color, because it really is. Once it's sealed, this lip color can last you a very long time. You can eat, you can drink, and this color will stay on. It is amazing. So that is the makeup routine that I do quite often when I feel like it, when I go to work. And it's very simple. I did the contouring a little bit. This line here is still prominent, but you know, you really can't fix everything. So you do the best you can to try and cover up the best you can and, um, Go on with your life. We get older and there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, of course, we have these products to help us. But you're beautiful whether you wear makeup or not, ladies. So I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video. I have enjoyed making it. And you all have a great day. And thanks so much for coming to my Blows Be Pretty channel. And you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.